Yo, what's up guys? Bradley from Tina Mize here, and uh, I got another upload for you guys today. It's an update on the Shit All Dinosaur deck. Um, I've been playtesting this for like a month. It's been really fun. Um, I think this deck's in, like insane. It's definitely in the top five of the format. Uh, it does a lot of things. It OTKs opponents out of nowhere. Uh, I really have a, I have a good time playing. It's the most fun I've had with a deck in a really long time. So uh, I just want to get, show you guys an update on what I've been playing. Uh, but there has been a lot of changes since the last time you guys seen the deck. So for starters, we're going to play three Soul Eating LV Raptor. Uh, he's the best guy in the deck. Uh, he's your best normal summon. He gets you to any card you want. Uh, we bumped this up to three. Three Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Uh, I wanted to play two, and I was a strong believer at playing two for a while, but some of the games like just kept coming up that I needed the third one, and I would lose because I didn't have the third one, so I put the third one in, and it's been good ever since. Uh, we played two Qualus. <laughs> so, I wish I could play three of this card and not draw it. Like... I have a love-hate relationship with this card. Like, this card's, like, crazy good, but, like, drawing, it's terrible. So, like, you just can't play three of this card. Um, let's center that up a little bit better. Um, one Giant Rex. Uh, I've seen some builds playing two in Gold Sark. I just really hate it. it. just... Like, once you have one Giant Rex in circulation, you're already winning the game, and, like, you don't need to. And, like, if, you're, if your games are lasting long enough to where you need to, you might just be losing that game anyway. Um, one miscellaneous source, I wish this card was still at three, and one Dogron, uh, just because it's searchable, um, like, it comes up a lot that you need it, and hard drawing, it's amazing against Pendulum, so, yep, uh, that's it for the dinosaurs, for the non-dinosaur monsters, the Shadal engine, uh, three Armageddon Knight, um, you just have to play through this card, I think this card's incredible, uh, you just need a better normal, like, you just need a normal summon. Sometimes it's not Ovi Raptor, and also it's a dark, so it works with the Lord of Darkness, so that's also good. But uh, for the Shadals, instead of playing three, I'm playing four. I'm playing one Beast, one Dragon, uh, one Falco, and one Hedgehog. I'm playing Falco because I just wanted, like, another name. I've been playtesting it, and it's been pretty good. Uh, late game, this card's incredible. It, let, it allows you to make huge link plays. And, uh, like, you can make, like, bore load with it and, like, stuff like that. So, it, it, it comes up. Like, I think the card's actually just really incredible. Like, drawing is obviously terrible. But, like, if your games are lasting a little bit, like, this just becomes, has infinite more value as the game progresses on. For the hand traps, you guys' favorite part of the decks always. Uh, three Ash Blossom. Uh, <laughs> this card's crazy. Um, two Effect Valor. Um, uh, and two Ghost Ogre. I wanted to play three Ghost Ogre, and, but, um, like, I just decided to play two and three Conductor just because, like, uh, this card doesn't advance your game state, and, uh, like, I don't know. I just don't, like, I just felt like the third Conductor was gonna win me more games than the third Ghost Ogre ever would, so I just played that. That and, like, too many hand traps are just going to make you break your hands and you don't want to draw too many non-engine cards. Uh, for the spell cards, the reason why this deck's good. 3 double Evolution Pill. It puts the whole deck together. Um, and then the other best card in the deck, 3 Shit All Fusion. If you resolve this card, you're probably winning the game. Um, yeah, it's, this card's just incredible. Uh, 3 Fossil Dig. Um, yeah, I'm not explaining that card. Uh, 3 Lore of Darkness. Um, you have a lot of darks, like, in between, like, your Ovi Raptors, your, uh, Quatlises, your, uh, Armageddon Knights, and your Shit All Monsters, like, you're going to have a dark monster in your hand for this card, so, yeah. But, like, I usually don't activate if I only have, like, one dark in my hand, like, I feel like that's completely obvious to say, but most people don't understand that, and they'll just, like, throw their whole play away just, like, by banishing that one dark and not drawing in anything, so I'm just clarifying that. Like, you can always just search, like, Hedgehog, like, with Hedgehog to get the dark that you need sometimes. Um, the roundup spells, two Twin Twisters, and one Foolish Burial. Um, yeah, uh, I really like Twin Twisters. Um, 
Pendulum scales, really big pain in the butt. Invoke Mac Knights is really popular at my locals and actually just in regionals in general. So like whenever they activate Meltdown, set a card you can like if they make you go first, you just flip twin twisters and it's just game at that point. So, yep. Uh but that's it for the main deck. Uh forty cards exactly. Now for the extra deck. Uh two window. Uh, you, I, you have to play two of this card, and uh, one Shakanaga, you have to play this too, just because there's a lot of OTKs with it, you just need to play it. Uh, one Lagia, and one Dolka. Dolka, like, never comes up. I might cut it, actually, but there's, like, no other better rank fours, really, that you can make. Um, one Tornado Dragon, one Castell, and one Dweller. Um, like, they're just the best staple rank fours in the game. Uh, when Gustav Max, it comes up with, uh, Shakanaga and, uh, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. It's just really strong to make. And then for the Link Monsters, you don't really make these that often, but they can come up. Uh, one Underclock Taker, um, one Decode Talker, uh, one Borlo Dragon for the ones we actually summon. And then for our Cherries targets... One Electromite, one Double Helix, and one uh, Dragon Buster. Uh, the Double Helix should probably be a Makaba. Because um, the uh, Invoked matchup's a lot harder for you than the Spiral matchup, so I'd probably just play the Makaba instead of the Super, instead of the Double Helix. But uh, the Double Helix is fine too. It just makes that matchup even more free. Um, for the extra deck. I mean, not for extra deck, uh, side deck. Three Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. Uh, if you resolve this against Penelope, you're probably winning the game. Uh, two, Lantia, uh, this is for the mirror. Uh, two different named Kaijus. You could play three Dogron if you want, but the non-dinosaur names really come up sometimes, so I just decided to play two of the other kai two, uh, Kaijus that were not dinosaurs. That have different attack too, that way if I draw both I can ram into the other one with the one I draw. Um, one Regeki, uh, one Twin Twisters. Uh, just for Alter Geist, back row heavy decks and stuff like that. That Alter Geist deck is going to be really good, so this is going to rise in popularity probably. Three anti spell fragrance. Um, a lot of your opponents will make you go first, especially the Mech Knight players. Like they'll just be like, "Okay, you can go first, and you decide this, and then you just set it, and you just offer your opponent a handshake after that." So they really don't expect you to have these cards in your side deck. And then three evenly matched to round off the side deck. Uh I mean, this card is obviously broken, but I like. I don't think I've ever slided this card in, um, like except once against Altergeist, and uh, I didn't draw it. So, but uh, in theory, this card's amazing, but it's really bad against Pendulum. Um, but I think the side deck's just about perfect. Uh, I might mess around with the Kaiju's and play like a third Lance here or something, maybe a Dark Hole. Like, you don't really need board rights. You kind of need your opponent to have extra deck like, monsters up on the field. But they're really good, like, to bait the monster negates if they set up, like, Narito or something. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the deck. I think this deck's, like, crazy powerful. It does a lot of unfair things. Um, yeah, uh, Summoning Conductors is really powerful. Uh, I think it's the, like, main reason why I actually play this deck is because Conductor's a good card. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This is Bradley from Team Demise, signing out.